Breaking the wall of climate predictions with supermodels. Carsten Grabo, Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research. Thank you very much for the nice introduction. Hi there. Um, I would like to talk about supermodels. So probably all of you have heard of Heidi Klum or Claudia Schiffer, but uh, did you know that climate scientists work with supermodels as well? <laughs> So to demonstrate you that, first um, to estimate the effects of um, human-caused climate change, we use complex mathematical models to simulate the behavior of the Earth's climate system. And all state-of-the-art models involve hundreds of thousands of variables. But overwhelmingly, they all agree on the general direction of change. And for instance, as you can see in the figure, they all project that the average temperature of the Earth will rise. But however, these models disagree, as you see in the spread here of different models and different emission scenarios, they disagree about the magnitude of future warming. And climate models typically relate to couple differential equations, one of the most famous systems you see here on the right, um, it's the Lorentz system, Lorentz attractor, and um, it's one of the simplest systems to represent chaotic dynamics that we observe every day in weather and climate. And um, the Lorentz attractor is a set of differential equations um, showing the so-called butterfly effect, which means the occurrence of a major event like a hurricane uh, might depend on whether or not something seemingly um, inconsequential, like a butterfly clapping, flapping of the wings of a butterfly, um, occurred before. And um, the solution of the Lorentz attractor, this um, is the basic of chaotic dynamics depends strongly on the initial values and it just happens to look like a butterfly. And our new approach is now, so, so far the standard method of climate prediction was to running climate models only independently from each other, then gathering the resulting statistics afterwards and then applying a weighted averaging um, to uh, your climate prediction. Our new approach is different. Um, we average dynamically by coupling the climate model during simulation. And our supermodel is an interconnected ensemble of various imperfect models. And through machine learning. Should we just take a question? <coughs> OK. <coughs> what is the impact to reality of your new model? I mean, the impact is that it's a new way of uh, climate modeling, and uh, we want to reduce the uncertainty in climate modeling and thus improve predictions. Is it more accuracy compared to reality? Sorry? Is it more accuracy compared to reality? Or? No, of course not. But I mean. Uh, Fam famous last words. Thank you very much. <laughs>